Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. My name is Jeff Ferris. Welcome to my shop. Today, we're going to take a closer look at Woodpecker's Ultimate Dowling Jig and how you can use this in two different ways, whether you're making a joint that's perfectly centered or one that indexes off a single face. Okay, let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the basics of the Ultimate Dowel Jig and produce a real simple right angle butt joint with two dowel pins in three quarter inch stock. Simplest thing you can do with the jig. Now, when you get this home, the first thing you're going to be tempted to do is sit around for probably 20 or 30 minutes just playing with this part. Uh, the cam that adjusts the spacing on the pins is the coolest feature of this tool. So when you're through playing with it and you're ready to actually make a joint, what you want to do is start out by deciding what spacing you want. Now I have two inch wide material and I want the first index pin a half inch in from both edges. So I want one inch spacing and I'm going to go to my scale on here and put the pointer on one inch. I want to lock the first of my bushings. Now we could just go ahead and tighten them all up, but there's a good check that you should make turn this over, we're just making sure that each one of the scribe lines in the brass right here is right on its mark on the scale. And when you get them lined up just exactly right, we're just going to lock them all down. Take our Tommy bar, put it in the bushing, and cinch it down tight. Now we know that we've got our one inch spacing right on the money on all four bushings. Now we're ready to set up the stop. So we're back over on this side. I'm looking at the scale right here and I want to line up this face, the clamping face, right on the 3 8 inch line and lock it down. So there are teeth on the underside of this and that makes sure that that block locks in the same way every time. If you are working in full sixteenths or eighths, we're going to have the AC side up, okay? If you're working in 30 seconds, we're going to turn that over and we'll have the BD side up. So on this side, I want to take that up and drop it right on the 3 8 inch mark and lock it. Now I'm going to take my piece of stock and I'm going to bring that to the half inch mark. And bring the stop up to the material and lock it. I'm going to bring the clamp up, lock the stock, now I know I'm exactly a half an inch from the edge to my first hole. Okay, so we always want to put this in a vise so that we have both of our hands available for what we're doing. Got a depth stop on here in the form of a piece of masking tape. And that's the first half of the joint. Now the mating piece we're going to put into the jig sideways instead of on the end. Again, bring that up to the stop, clamp it up, and we're ready to drill. Now we'll put a couple of dowel pins in here, and our joint is flush top and bottom and in all three directions. And that worked perfectly with material that was exactly three quarters of an inch. But if your stock is a little undersized or a little oversized, this is gonna end up with a mismatch. So let's show how to do the same joint, but indexed from one face. Now I'm going to exaggerate the misalignment so it's easier to see what's going on. If you, don't, if you have it almost centered, things will come out pretty close. Uh, we're gonna go a little further than that. We're gonna move our end stop and our fence so that everything is biased to one side. So I'm going to take the stop, and instead of having that at a half inch, we're going to put it at 5 eighths. Now I'm going to move our side fence a sixteenth of an inch. So now we're offset both directions, and nothing is going to come out even close to center. But I'm going to show you how to make a joint that fits. Now we're going to start by starting out exactly the same way. We're going to take our first piece, Bring it up against the stop, clamp it in, and drill this part of the joint. All 
Okay, now what we want to look at here as we take this out is that this side, that's the side that was against the clamping block. And this side is the one that was against the end stop. And we'll take that out and you can see that it's closer to the clamp side than it is to the face side. And it's closer to this end than it is to the stop end. Now we have to transfer this so that we can drill the mating piece. Now, when we go to make the mating piece, to keep our reference coming off this, my X side has got to be against the stop block, but that means that my end stop has to be moved to the other side, okay? I, there's no way that I can get this end and this face against this on this side of the jig. So we have to inverse. Uh, and once you get your head wrapped around this, it starts making a lot more sense. So to inverse that, we want to take the piece that we just finished. We're going to take the side that was against the stop this way. Okay, now I'm going to take my index pin. So we're going to slip the index pin in here. I have the stop removed. I'm going to take my X side, place that out toward the opposite end and locate that on the stop. Now, while that's sitting in there, we're gonna put the stop on the other side. So now I've got that in there, I'm gonna bring the stop up against it and clamp it up. I'm gonna take the mating piece, end stop, face stop, drop it in there, clamp it up. So now we're ready to put it in the vise and drill the last two holes on the jig. Dial pin in there, dial pin in there, line up all of our X's, and our joint comes together perfectly. So as you can see, whether you're doing a joint that's perfectly centered or you're indexing off a single face, the Ultimate Dowling Jig has what you need to get the job done. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive and learned a little bit more about the Ultimate Dowling Jig. If you liked what you saw today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.